Well, and welcome back to the 10th week of the Kids Cup study group videos. We're going to look at the next faithful patriarch mentioned in the Hebrews 11th chapter. Today, we're going to go to the next Hebrew character named Rahab. And this character goes from 35th to 35th, 31st, sorry, 35th verse about this character. So today we're going to see about what and who Rahab was. So we understand in the James chapter, the second chapter, the 25th verse, it tells us that Rahab's faith resulted in her justification. But we understand not a justification to life, that's the important point, but to a position of friendship with the Lord, a friendship based upon her confidence in God's promise. So please read, I should say, in Joshua's second chapter to see the instant incident sorry, recorded about Rahab and in this situation how he had, she had showed this position of friendship with the Lord, we can said, which resulted in justification, we understand. An unusual understanding because we normally see justification is a bad uh, example of a characteristics that should be shown. But in this situation, Rahab smartly uses that justification, not to justification of life, but to be in a position to have a friendship with the, to have a friendship, sorry, with the Lord, a friendship based on her confidence in God's promises. So we understand Rahab initially, in initial work we understand, by which she demonstrated her justifying faith was her concealing of the spies we understand so spies had entered the country and she was concealing these spies we see she hid them on the roof of their home concealing their presence by covering them in in flax which are sacks i should say and then when she was asked where they were she further concealed them with their tongue we understand. In expressing her willingness to do this, she further she explained to the spies that the people we understand of the city had heard of Israel's victories over their enemies. We understand, and had become very fearful. And for herself, she had concluded that if Israel's God was great and powerful, we understand, as the reports indicated, the thing to do was to yield on oneself to him and become his servant. This was apparently the beginning of her change of heart and conduct, conduct sorry, which we, you can see in Joshua 2nd chapter 8th to 13th chapter. We also see that when it comes to who Rahab was, we also see some background information that Rahab was actually called Rakab in Matthew 1st chapter 5th verse, where we find in the same honourable position as Ruth in the lineage of Jesus, after the fall of Jericho, she evidently accepted the faith of the Israelites and became one of them, marrying Salmon. Thus, her faith and courage in protecting the spies were rightly rewarded by God at the time. Paul indicates she demonstrated her worthiness of a position with the ancient worthies in their better resurrection, according to Hebrews 11th chapter 35th verse. So he is, she is praised and congratulated for these actions where she shows her faith and courage in protecting these spies and were rightly rewarded by God at the time. As we see, she was covering these spies as we saw in sacks and when she, she then further concealed them with her tongue. In expressing her willingness to do this, she explained to the spies that the people of the city had heard of Israel's victories, we understand. And and because, uh, oh, so they heard of Israel's victories over the enemies, I should say. And they understood that they had become very fearful of Israel's power. And for herself, she had concluded that if Israel's God was as great and as powerful as the reports indicated, that the thing to do for them was to... To yield oneself and become his servant, for there was no opportunity of escaping this situation. And this was apparently, we can see apparently, that her change of conduct, uh, of her heart and conduct, as we understand. And because of this change of conduct, we understand it's evidently that because of this justification in this situation, despite concealing the spies, we understand the situation where he, she shows her faith. And because of that faith, she's praised by God. She's even praised by God. Paul, we understand, for, for she, it said that she demonstrated her worthiness 
of a position with the ancient worthies, as according to Hebrews 11th chapter, 35th verse. So this is, this is a very important thing for us to understand, as when it comes to the faith that we should show towards God. Because it's that position of friendship that we show with Lord, God, and understanding of God, that helps us understand the true perspective of God's power, God's knowledge, and God's decisions that are going to come, going to come in place. As even though that... At, uh, initially, she, we understand we, she demonstrated her justifying faith was by concealing the spies. But once she understood that if she she believed, we should say that if the Israel's God was concluded to be as powerful and great as said, she herself says that they should what they themselves should yield themselves as servants. We understand, and we understood because of this. At the end, she decides to marry one of the Israelites named Salmon, you understand, showing her utmost faith as well in this situation as well, trying to stay towards God, we understand. So it's important, and once again, an important characteristic, characteristic sorry, that we must follow, understand, and, impl and imply into our day-to-day -day lives. So I'll see you next time. Bye.